I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this bed, so I thought I would make a video rather than trying to write all of this out. Uh, we got this idea from a guy on the internet. Can't remember the, the web address, but it, I remember something about the amazing expanding bed, something like that. And I'm pretty sure I got the first idea from Pinterest, even though I'm not even on Pinterest. Um, so we didn't really have any detailed instructions. We had the guy's picture, and he had a lot of pictures and some ideas. And so we just went with uh, you know what we knew and kind of started replicating it as best as we could, making improvements that he missed and having to customize for my van versus his van obviously the dimensions weren't the same and so you know you just start with the frame and start from the wall and work your way out so this is one of the original legs and this is original floor piece and then this two by two stringer here is kind of what provides the main horizontal support uh, all the way back here and then I've got this two by two and there's a two by four back here tied together and tied to the floor like that uh, and that was really our starting point and then from there we just knew that well all the legs have to be the same height and we knew we were tying it to the floor so there's a whole bunch of leveling that needs to take place and squaring up because the van walls are definitely not square and uh, we knew that this part was going to be stationary and that it was going to be holding this drawer so the drawer is going to go from the floor all the way up to here. And then the sliding and the lifting mechanism was the hardest part to figure out. But again, just looking at pictures, we managed to, to do it and a lot of trial and error. We definitely didn't get this on the first try and it finally turned out nice. So you can pull it out like this, we'll actually pull out almost flush to here. And then when you're done, you lift it up and there's storage under there. So I left out a lot of details, obviously, because this took us, oh, three days to make with all of the mistakes that we made. But if you've got questions, maybe I can answer them for you. So I've got a lot of questions about the, the bed height. As you can see, I'm slouched over and my head's hitting the ceiling right now and it doesn't get any better if I lean back either and so people are wondering why did I make my bed so high and now I can't sit up straight and that's gonna be annoying I agree but the main reason why I made the bed as high as I did is because there's this heating and air conditioning unit back here and as you can see it stops right over or the bed stops right over the top of it and actually this was the original hole on the HVAC and we just capped it with a piece of rigid insulation and aluminum tape. Then we used a four inch hole saw and cut a new air duct in there and we had to notch out the leg. And so now, and the same over here, not uh, taped this up with insulation and aluminum tape, made a new hole. Uh, so now I still have the factory HVAC from Ford and we're going to put four inch flexible tubing on here so that can just come out run along the floor then we'll notch out a hole probably over here and i believe this is the air conditioning side so that means i'll still have full flowing air conditioning back here and then likewise up here this is the heating side so another flex tube will come out somewhere over here or in the front Either way, uh, as long as the truck is running, I'll still have heating and air conditioning. And in the winter, I plan on having supplemental propane heater. But if it gets too cold, I can always fire up the truck and uh, use this. And the nice thing is, if that's the case, <clears throat> uh, it'll also be running right underneath my bed. So that extra residual heat that will be lost through the short run of ducting there will also radiate up into my bed and keep me warm. So that is why my bed is so high and like I said it's not so comfortable to sit like this and I'm obviously not gonna sit like this. This is my desk area 
I'm not gonna sit like this all day. Uh, so I will most likely be making a little movable uh, stool, I guess, so that I can scooch around in here, and I'll make that lower, about like that, so that I can so that I can sit straight up and down. So that's why my bed is so high.